want to invite an admin to your account and also limit the kind of assets they will have. So once you come to your dashboard, just go to paystack.com and log into your dashboard. The next thing you will do, you can see where your transaction is. If you have any transaction, you see all your transactions, you see customers, you see refunds, you see payouts, if you have requested any payouts. If I show you my Stripe, my Stripe account now, you see payout, you see everything. So if you are collect, if you are a freelancer or a creator and you are collecting your current payment, like subscription payments, so you see your current payment here, yeah, you see your subscribers, you see your plans that you've created, you see subscriptions. If you are if you are an e-commerce, you see it here. Yeah. So Paystack just offers you a lot of things. So how can you invite users? How can you ad invite an admin to your to your Paystack dashboard? The first thing you need to do. Once you, once you log into your dashboard, is to come to settings. So you see your profile here. You see your you see contact, compliance, account, preferences, and team. So you come to team. Team. That's the next thing you do is to come to team. Then you see invite someone. That's how you can invite someone. So the first thing you need to do is to invite someone. So let's say I want to invite this email. Then I will choose, you need to choose the role. You need to choose the role you want to invite the person for. So let's say we want to, you can invite someone as an admin. You can invite someone as operations. You can invite someone, you can invite your developer, developer support. You can invite customer, your customer service to your pay start dashboard. You can invite direct debit admin. You can invite signatory. Anybody that can sign your digital document or legal document. So let's say we want to invite our customer support. So once you do this, you click on invite member. So once you click on invite member, the person will receive the email. So let's go to my email now. Then can you see? They will receive an email like this. You have been invited to join an integration on Paystack. That's what they will receive. The email, hello, additional online has just added you to the Scott Digital team on Paystack. We have added Scott Digital to the list of business to which you have access. You will find it under other businesses at the top of your left, at the top left of your dashboard. All I need to do is to just click on go to dashboard for the person you, in, you invited. Then the person will have access. So basically, so can you see now, I now have access with that email. If I come to this place now, you see, you see that the email will be different. The email I have access to will be different. That's how you can invite someone. So let's now, if I refresh this now, you see that the person now has access. If I come to team now, that's how you can invite people to your dashboard to your pay stack dashboard and give them assets. So the next thing I want to cover is how you can manage assets. Because you can't just give somebody an admin assets. If you give somebody an admin assets, it means they have access to all your funds. They can withdraw. They can do anything. So you need to learn how to manage the assets you give to people because this involves money. This is your pay stack dashboard and it has money in it. So don't mind this account that it is empty. Then obviously, your business account, we have a lot of money in it. So you need to manage your money. So you don't just give anybody access. And you need to know the kind of assets you give them. So if I, the next thing we'll do, I want to enlighten you on different assets. You go to manage rules. If you come to manage rules, you see admin. This, it states that this role grants user the permission to manage everything on your dashboard. So you mean that it means... If you are giving somebody an admin dashboard, they can view business performance metrics. They can view your transaction. They can export transaction, manage refunds and disputes. They can manage and update customers. They can view customers. They can create new customers. They can view customer insights, view payout, export payout, create and manage transfer, view transfers, export transfer, view balance history, create and manage payment pages, 
Can you see? They can do all these things. So they can even manage your API keys and webhook. And API keys and webhook is very, very important. They can even invite users. So you need to be very factual. You need to be very, you need to be very sure of the kind of person you are giving an admin access to or admin invite to for your pay start dashboard because this involves money. If you come to manage, they can even manage bank account settings. So you should know who you should give to. If you look at what this goal can assess, they don't have. If you give somebody an admin access, they have access to everything. So if I click to this place now, I can give anybody admin access. So you know the person you want to give admin access to. If I come to operations, so these are what they can do. So an operations cannot manage API keys and webhook. And they cannot view API keys and web hook. So you need to know the kind of access you are giving to somebody. This whole grand user department should manage everything on the dashboard except to move money out. Operations, they can't move money out. And they don't, ask, they don't also have access to manage your API keys. It, your pay stack account, the API keys there and web hook there is very, very important. So if you are giving somebody a operations account, they can't move your money out also. If you come to developer support, this role grants users the permission necessary for providing technical support. So obviously, a developer will have access to your webhook. So can you see? They have access to your webhook because they are technical guys. So if you come to customer support, customer support should not have access to withdraw your money. They don't have, I don't think so. They cannot manage web hook, they can't send money out. So let's read the description. This will grant users the permission necessary for providing customer support. I don't think they can send money out. Can you see? They can't send money out. So that's it. If you come to direct debit admin, this will grant user the permission to manage everything related to direct debit. If you have direct debit, but can you see they can manage API keys and webhook and they can view API keys and webhook, but they cannot view payout or export payout. So you need to be very sure. The bottom line of this is that you need to be very sure of the kind of access you are giving people in your business. If you go to signatory, this role grants users the permission necessary to sign legal documents. So legal document is very, very important to your business know the kind of person you want to give access to to sign legal documents so that they will not go and sign legal documents with paystack and paystack will release your money saying one person in your team has given them access to do so so you need to be very very sure so you can also create custom roles you can create your own custom roles and choose exactly what team member can see and do so let's click on create custom role now you, you can give this rule additional and say and say maybe maybe visual assistant or something. Let's just say visual assistant. Then you can create custom roles yourself and determine the kind of so you can say they can manage customers view business metrics and all and just you can give them basically so and you will not give them access to all this so aside the default aside the default rules that paystack has that you can give to your to your staff or your employees you can also create custom roles and determine what you want to give to them from all this all you need to do is just tick Let's say we want to give them access to this, we want to give them access to export transfer, export balance, export view, view and export this, export payout and the likes. So they can they can create and manage invoice, view invoice, and all those things. They can view invoice. So, but you will not give them access to this managed web hook. You will not give them access to edit business settings and all these things. You will not give them access to invite users. You will not give them access to manage 
bank account settings. So I feel this this what this custom custom rules works for me. I will be able to determine the kind of rules I want to give to people in my business. So all I need to do is to just click on create rules and the rules will be created. So you can now invite people. You can now go to, you can now come back here and invite someone and you choose zero. So can you see the additional app that I've created? This is the, the custom roles that I've created and I've chosen what the person will have access to. Then I'll just put in the person's email to invite the person, then I'll click on invite. I believe you've been able to gain value in this video. If you are yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I will encourage you to do that. Like this video, share this video, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.